Okay, there we go. Uh, I forgot I need to actually break it, so that's an introduction video. Whoopsie! But yeah. We can actually kind of free form this. Or free flow. As opposed to, usually I have to like stop and put in login information. That's all done in the exterior launcher and shit, so. So it looks like we have three. Yeah, we have three characters during the beta. Looks like. You probably have to pay for extra slots. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. So. Uh, no. Make a new character. That's weird. I deleted the character and yet it still had load. Like save game data. <clears throat> okay. I'm actually going to read the descriptions. <gasps> Holy shit, I'm actually going to read something aloud for you guys. I'm actually going to read a lot of stuff aloud, just for the fuck of it. I don't know why. Just in case this isn't really showing up well is really why I'm doing it. I'm just worried that you guys aren't going to be able to read it. But anyway, here, I'm just going to say it's here, here, here. It's hot in here. But anyway, <laughs> the humans, basically. The here are said to have first traveled to yours, Yorza, Yorza, I guess. From our surrounding continents and islands, some uh, some 1,000 years ago, and wait, whoa, this seems like that would follow through from the first one, just like a comma, but whatever. Some 1,000 years ago, and three great migratory waves later, they are now the most populous of all the civilized races. They exhibit a relatively modest physique, both in height and build, and are known for their peculiar short, or peculiarly short, rounded ears. Here are well suited for traveling long distances by foot. A trait thought to account for their swift proliferation. Their uh, espousal of an eclectic variety of languages and traditions is a legacy of their diversion, their diver, div <laughs> diversion, diverse heritage, as in their resulting lack of unified cultural identity. Of a unified cultural identity. So they're like humans. We just propagate and fuck culture. <laughs> everybody's uh, everybody's this half ass robot. Okay, we have Elizen, Elizen, probably Ele Elizen. Kind of like Eleven, but Elizen. Whatever. We got the midgets. I'll get to them in a minute. You know, <laughs> there's always got to be a fucking midget race, man. There's always got to be the gnomes or the or the goblins. Who are those little triple-looking fuckers from Alods? The the deformed Ewoks. But anyway, back to work here. In former times, the Elysian were the sole inhabitants of Oresia, claiming dominion over her. Traditionally a nomadic people, the tall, slender Elysian believed the realm to be theirs by divine right, a gift from, their twel er, from the Twelve themselves. Unfortunately, this belief made the eventual appearance of the Hur in their multitudes akin to an invasion, and a long history of conflict ensued. Ultimately, the Elysian diverged into the two clans that exist today. The Wildwood Elysian took the forests in their ongoing fight to protect their homeland against the encroaching here, while the Dusk White Elysian withdrew to caves in sub subterrain, subterrain, not probably subterrain. I'm not sure. I'm not used to. I'm, uh, is there supposed to be an E there? I'm not sure. It's not really a word I deal with. But anyway, opting instead to avoid all contact with with any but their own. And now the fucking midgets. Uh, we people. Sporting short round bodies, the Lalafell. Lalafell, oh my god. I feel stupid even saying it. The Lalafell appear as no more than children to the eyes of most. Many of these nimble little folk hail from the, the islands of the south. south th 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 <laughs> I like hung on that south just a little too long. About a split second too long, but anyway, of the South Seas where they practice a simple agricultural lifestyle. It was not until the opening of a uh, maritime trade routes that the gradual migration of the Lalafell to Eorzea began. Now, one of the most well established races in the realm, Lalafell can be found in great numbers in nearly every city. The Lalafell culture places great emphasis on blood relations. Individuals are known for getting along amicably with races or with members of all races. By the way, yes, I am stumbling over my words a bit because I'm trying to read really quickly, and I'm just not used to reading aloud. I can read quietly very quickly, but I can't like read aloud very quickly, and I'm trying to do it faster than I actually am capable of apparently. But anyway, I digress. The ancestors of the Mikoti, Mikot, Mikot, 
Whatever their name is. Miko. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Mikote. It could be that too. The Mikote made their way to Yorzia during the Age of the Endless Forest. Forest. Yeah, because that looks like forest. It's five letters, looks like forest, except it's not. It's frost. Traversing the frozen seas in pursuit of the wildlife upon which they subsisted. Adap the adaptation to a hunting lifestyle was fashioned, has fashioned them with a keen sense of smell, powerful legs, and a tail which provides them with exceptional balance. Yes, because it's of course there for balance. Not to tempt the pervert cat girl lovers. Just saying. The Mikote are known to be very territorial, and many individuals tend to lead solitary lifestyles, particularly males, which you cannot make. Just for reference. The few Mikote who have made the <laughs> transition to life... <laughs> I just love saying the Mikote have made the transition to life in Eorzean society and are predominantly female. Or no. Ones who have made, yeah. I fucked that. I left a word out. I was too busy calling them Mikote. But yeah, for some reason, can't make a male version. They're kind of like the, um... <sighs> Viera. Viera, I think is what they are. The Vienna Sausages of <laughs> Final Fantasy XI slash Tactics. Or no, not 11, 12. Yeah, like the ones from 12 in the Tactics games and shit. For some reason, there's male versions. You can't fucking make them, though. But whatever, we know why they're in the game. Fucking perverts. And then you got the Rogadine. Which, theirs is actually really short. Let me, see, let me see, compare this. Yeah, comparatively, theirs is fucking short. It's like, what, a, a sentence and then a paragraph? But anyway, known for their brawny builds and piercing eyes, the Rogadine are the largest and most rugged Orzia's races. The majority of the realm's Rogadine belong to the Sea Wolf Clan, a maritime people who earn their keep on or by the sea, be it as sailors, fishermen, or pirates. Comparatively, fewer in numbers are the Hellguard, Hellsguard, who are known for their more earnest demeanors and can often be found working as bodyguards and smithies. Which makes sense. I mean, look at him. He looks like a fucking smith. Just look at him. He, he seems like he should be banging a hammer on something metal. Just see them fucking arms, man. Just... <laughs> He should be hammering out broadswords and shit. Making weapons for the Highlander. But anyway, yeah, here's the uh, five races. I'll be making three of them, which will probably be the Hure, the Hure, the Elysian, and the Rogadine. Rogadine would probably be the main one I would play if I were to, like, pay to play this. Just because they look cool. I think, I think they're neat looking. I just wish you could, like, scale them down a little so they're not so, like, dun 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 Mr., you know, Mr. Universe, fucking, the Hulkster's guns type fucking massive. It's fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger, dude. So, which will I make first? Will I make the dude with the, uh, with the, uh, yeah. Just look at his crotch. What's, what's, what's that he's wearing? That's ridiculous. This dude's gay as fuck. Um, we'll go with the Rogadine, because that was actually what the character I had made previously. Okay, and here, obviously, you can... Actually, no, I should back up and... Yeah, what the fuck am I doing? This is character creation. Come on, stop being... Stop being stupid, James. We'll go through each one real quickly. I'll try not to, I'll try not to drag it out too far. I'm not actually going to read the descriptions of the... So you've got the Midlanders, which are these... And you got the Highlanders, who can apparently only be men and black. Maybe. I don't know. You can probably change the... Yeah, I'm sure you can change the skin color. But, yeah. So there's the three different ones you can pick. Let me leave, linger here for a second. Pause it now if you're wanting to read that. Is that the same? It looks like it is. Yeah. Okay, now pause it to read that. Because, you know, you know, I'm not going to read... I'm not going to spend three hours reading text, people. I'm sorry. Just... It's not gonna happen. I learned my lesson just reading it the previous screen. <laughs> that took a while. Okay. So now you've seen that, and, um, there. I was about to say, any time now, I'll go back to the previous screen. God, he's so gay looking. So you got the Wildwood Mail. Let's pause here if you're wanting to read it, obviously. Okay. Now we got the Mail, or the Dusk White. Which are like the dark elves, basically. You have the elves and the dark elves. 
But yeah, pause here if you're wanting to read what his says. Is there a difference between gender? Nope. Looks the same. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this up to you guys. If you want to read it, you can... Like I said, you can just pause at these spots. And read through the little text description. Oh my god, why is there like four... There are th two different versions of these fuckers. So yeah, pause. And we're continuing. Wow, he's got like two different eye colors. That's weird. Huh. I'm tired. I'm kind of hungry. Mikote. The Mikote Pen Peninsula. So you got the Seeker of the Sun, which you're reading right now if you actually care. And the Keeper of the Moon. And you're done. And finally, the Rogadon. Which you have the Sea Wolf. And the Hell's Garden. Which, by the way, that fucking skin tone looks just like that one dude from fucking Super Street Fighter 4. Um, the, the alcohol dude. Oh, what the fuck's his name? Mr. Blue Hair. I bet you can make him. I think you can set, have, like, blue hair. Huh. Hmm. Which one? Hell's Guard's what I made before. But... Uh, I'll go with the sea wolf. Fuck it. And then you can pick type, which I don't get. I don't understand the type thing. You know, I don't get what this changes. They don't, there doesn't really seem to be a difference. Yeah, I'm like trying to see a difference between them. There might be a little bit of body difference, but it's if there is, it's so slight that it's fucking barely noticeable. I guess I'll go with that one. Yeah! <laughs> God, I hate that. It's fucking doofus looking. Eh, we'll go with average. Fuck it. Ha ha ha! They sound the same, just one's slower than the other one. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yeah, they sound the fucking same. Oh, that one's more low-key. He's like, <laughs> yeah. That's like a pimp laugh right there. It's like, yeah. I just stuck it in the ass. <laughs> oh, whoa, that's a little... I accidentally clicked it. Uh, that's kind of yellowy looking. I don't know about that. Ooh, we hit Seamus. It's fucking Seamus O'Shaughnessy. What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> 